Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna take a look at the DVLA Gemini Pro Grade True Wireless Earbuds with Active Noise Cancellation. Now you can pick these up from Amazon. I'll throw the link up in the description. The price on these, 300 bucks. All right, so first things first, let me start off by saying Happy New Year. And ladies and gentlemen, White Shoes is back in the building. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. White shoes. shoes. I love my Calm white down. All right, here we go. DVLA Gemini True Wireless Earbuds with Active Noise Cancellation. Let's go through the features real quick. Now these are Bluetooth version 5.0. All right, so DVLA Gemini, on a side note, DVLA, that's a French name, all right? DVLA Gemini delivers an all-enveloping sound experience, permeable sound. All right, so you got modes for every situation, active noise cancellation and transparency. Now you also have ear active matching, intelligently adapts audio signal for optimal listening at all times. You got voice calls. These are IPX4 rated, built to withstand. All right, so you get 24 hour battery life, with a cheap compatible wireless charging case. Now up to six hours of listening uh, with the on-the-go charging case. So six hours, a total of 24 hours using the charging case. Replaceable charging case battery, voice assistant compatible, and it comes with extra small, small, medium, and large air tips. All right, so all of that for 300 bucks. And there's an app for Android and iOS. Let's grab a little unboxing knife. All right, so for New Year's, we got the little unboxing knife back from vacation. All right, shoes, I need you to wash those whiskers. Let me do this at a high angle. Ra. Okay, here we go. DVLA Gemini. Again, app for Android and iOS. 300 bucks. Now, on a side note, at this price range, I'm going to have to compare these to my top truly wireless earbuds with active noise cancellation. Number one on my list, the Sennheiser Momentum 2s. I love these for all around sound performance and active noise cancellation. Number two on my list, the Bose. Now, if you want pure active noise cancellation, nothing beats the Bose. Number three, now this is a tie between the AirPod Pros and the Techniques. If I'm, if I'm using an iPhone, I go with the AirPod Pros. If I'm using an Android phone, I go with the Techniques. Both of these sound amazing and have uh, active noise cancellation top tier status. Okay, now I got a little hangover right now, but we're gonna work through this. <laughs> DVLA Gemini's, let's unbox them and see what it is. Shoes patiently waiting. Here we go. Okay, we need your full attention, please. Okay, usual books and shit, pluck them and save them. Now, at 300 bucks, this better be a nice presentation. Let's start it off. First, okay, you got your usual books and shit. Okay, pluck those, let's read them real quick. Okay, now on a side note, hold up. Just in case y'all don't remember, I just seen it. If y'all don't remember, the Phantom. Now, only my true subscribers remember when I did the video for this because I had to take it down because of that designer song. This speaker was dope, but I had a lot of problems from the manufacturer. That's why I never bought it again. I swore that I would never buy another DVLA product, but here we are, all right? You're only as good as your last product, so let's give them a second chance. Okay, now this is gonna be your charging case. Okay, let's see. Okay. Now, the earbuds, they looked a little bit bigger in the picture. But in real life, they do look small. Okay, let's take a look at that charging case one more time. See if we can one-hand that open. Okay. Shoes, inspect that case for quality real quick. Let's see what else we get. Now, this is going to be your USB-A to USB Type-C charging cable. All right. Quality control. And let's see what this is going to be. Now, this should be a different size ear tips. Okay, so you got extra small, small, and large. All right, extra small, small, and large. Let me put those in my pocket so shoes don't nibble on those. Okay, and that's pretty much it. Now, let's take a look at the earbuds. Here's how they're going to look. Okay. DVLA Gemini's. Okay, again, nice and small. When you look at the picture, they look like some big giant earbuds, but in real life, they are pretty small. Drop them back in the case. Here's how they're gonna look. Now this case does have wireless charging. You have one LED on the case. Okay, USB Type-C. And that's pretty much it. 
nice and lightweight. All right, so let me pause the video. I'll grab a phone and we'll start our usual testing. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, y'all, so we back in. First, let's check the charging case for wireless charge. Now look for the blue lights on the charger and the green light on the case. Okay, there's the blue lights. There's the green light. Charge them right up. All right, so now let's take a look at the charging case. On the top, you got some DVLA branding. You got these little ridges right here. Easy to open with your finger. It is wireless charge compatible, USB type C. You got one button for reset and pairing and one LED. Now it's not the smallest case. For size comparison, here's the AirPods Pro. Okay, so it's a little bit bigger, but not the biggest case. Here's the Bose. All right, so the Bose case is definitely bigger. Same thing with the Sony's. All right, the Sony case is definitely bigger. Now, let's check the magnets. We'll start off at minimum shakage. Okay, no movement. Let's go to intermediate shakage. No movement. Let's take it to maximum shakage. Ra, ra, ra. Okay, so the magnets are excellent. They survive maximum shakage. All right, so I just downloaded the Gemini app. It said there's an update available, so let's go ahead and do the update. All right, y'all, so we back in. One hour later. Now, let me say this. The update process for these earbuds is the worst. I repeat, the worst in the history of updating processing. I was literally two seconds away from rage quitting and throwing these shits in the garbage. I hate it. I, I literally hate it. The update process is so garbage. Check this out. Now, I usually never read Amazon reviews, especially on products that I'm going to review myself. But I was having so much drama with this. I said, you know what? Let me take it over to Amazon and see if anybody else is having this issue. And sure enough, everybody, I mean, everybody is having this issue. Now, I tried two different iPhones. I tried all my Android phones. The updating process is garbage. You're going to hate it. All right. If you ain't got patience, you like to plug and play. You're going to hate this. All right. Now, I just powered through. It took me forever to do it. And right when I was about to rage quit, it must have known that I was going to rage quit. And it finally decided to work. I got it to update. But you're going to hate it. All right? You're going to hate the update process. Keep that in mind. Okay, so now let's check out the app. Now you got a picture of your earbuds. It shows you your battery percentage for the left bud, the right bud, and the charging case. Take it over to settings. You got Gemini control. That's your double press. So you can activate your voice assistant or skip and reverse tracks. Now you got smart pause. If you activate that feature, when you're playing your music and you take the earbuds out, it'll automatically pause your song. When you put the earbuds back in, your music will start playing. You got audio preferences. You got a fully customizable EQ. And you got a bunch of presets. So you got custom, default, news podcast, bass, treble, dynamic, and low mid. Now I'm gonna leave it on bass. Now let's put the earbuds in. And it should give you some more features. Okay. Let's get them nice and snug. Now, once you put them in your ears, now you get three levels of noise cancellation. So you got low, high, and plain. You got neutral mode, and you got transparency. Now, two different levels of transparency, low and high. Now, if I put it on high, I can easily have a conversation without taking the earbuds out. My voice sounds a little bit robotic, but again, amb ambient sound mode, they pretty much sound the same on most of these earbuds. Okay, now, Let's do the uh, head shake test. I'm gonna start off with minimum shakage. Okay, no movement. Let's go to intermediate shakage. No movement. Let's go to maximum shakage. Ah. Okay, so no movement. So I do like the fit on these. Now let me show you what they're gonna look like. All right, shout out to the Corona Dread, still in effect. Here's how they're gonna look in your ears. Minimalistic look, a little on the big side, but not gigantic. All right, and I definitely prefer these better than the pencil style earbuds. Okay, now this has been a rageful video. All right, I've been raging out all over the place. Let's see if these earbuds can make it up in the sound test department. Let's grab some music. All right, so I got a classic song queued up. We got Snoop Dogg, Let's Get Blown. Now I'm gonna start off with minimum noise cancellation, the EQ set to bass, and max volume. Okay, here we go, Birdman hands rubbing together. I promise y'all I'm not gonna sing because I actually wanna hear these. 
and I hope these sound good because so far I'm having the worst experience with these. All right, here we go. One tap for playing pause. Let's get blown. Can I get my thrills? You know you want some more, girl. So come on. Woo! Can I get my thrills? You know you want some more, girl. So come on. Let's get blown. Okay, these sound good. All right, they making up for it in the sound department. Let's go. Let's get blown. Yo, shoes, where you at? Let's go. Looking at the ladies, all of them fine. I don't know which one I want, dog. I can't make up my mind. So won't you make it easy on me? Take this drink, zip this weed, two step with me, let's slip to the dance floor. On and on and on and on we go. I'll dip you if you want me to. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let's say pause, let's say pause. Okay, okay. Whew. Okay, now I can relax. I, I was getting ready to bash these earbuds because the setup process is atrocious. All right, the pairing process is horrible. The app is wonky and buggy. I wasn't having a good experience. But the sound quality, all right, the sound quality on these. This is what I'm talking about. All right, sound quality is a go. Matter of fact, y'all know what I got to do now. Woo! Y'all know what I got to do now. I, I, I'm feeling these. I got to take it right to my bass test song. Hold up, where we at? Y'all know. We got to take it to Nipsey Hustle, Blue Laces 2. Okay? Y'all know how that goes. I got to test the bass. Here we go. Oh, baby, it's been so. Okay, here we go. Hold up. Hold up. Woo! Woo! Okay. Okay. Mm. Woo! -hoo -hoo -hoo! Yes! All right, hold up. Okay, all right. Woo! All right, now look. I took off smart pause because I want to try to hear that the music is actually on. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Yo, this is what I'm talking about. All right, the clarity on these. All right, the clarity on these. I'm ready to give these a real look now because I was I already wrote these off, but the sound quality, all right, the sound quality is great. I just hate the, the whole experience from the app and the updating and all that bullshit, but the sound quality, all right, I'm feeling the sound quality. Let's do a little bit more testing. All right, so now let's do the reconnection test. How long do these take to reconnect to your phone after you take them out and put them in the charging case? I'll just hit play on the music. You see it's connected. Okay, so we'll take these out, drop them in the charging case, fully disconnected. Take them back out. Okay, here we go. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, Six Mississippi, seven Mississippi. You get the idea. No instant reconnection. All right, so let's go to settings. Let's go to Gemini. Let's hit connect. All right, so now it says connected. Now they're reconnected. All right, so that sucks that you gotta do that every time. I'm not feeling that at all. That's pretty whack. Let's keep it moving. All right, now the side note, just to be fair, I tried that three more times, and each time they didn't automatically reconnect. So that sucks. All right, so now let's do the one earbud test. Can you play music from one side while the other side is charging up in the case? Let's hit play on the music. Okay, so I'm gonna take out the right side. Just drop it in the case. Left side is still playing. Let's put the right side back in. Okay, let's hit play on the music. Okay, now let's take out the left side. Left side in the case. They just disconnected. So if you wanna play music from one side, it has to be the left side. Now let's try this real quick. Let's see if we can pair just the right side. Okay, so we'll go to settings. We'll hold the pairing. Let's see if we can get any pairing going on on this one. Let's see. All right, let me play with this for a minute and see if I can pair just the right side. 
All right, now they're probably gonna fix this with an update because right now it's not working on my iPhone, but it is working on my Galaxy. You could pair just the right side. But this is still just way too much drama to hear music from one side. You should just put it in the case and it automatically switches to the next side. You shouldn't have to go through all of the settings and having to repair it. That's way too much hassle. Again, hopefully they'll come out with an update to fix that. But as of right now, it's not working on my iPhone. Let's keep it moving. Now for the touch controls, very limited. Now on the right and left earbud, a single press, that's gonna play and pause your music and answer and end phone calls. Now for the double press, that's customizable, but you only get two choices. You can activate your voice control, or you can skip and reverse tracks. So let me show you how that's gonna look. All right, so from the right earbud, single press for play and pause, double press, double press, that'll take me to the next song. Now from the left earbud, single press, that's play and pause, and double press, that'll reverse tracks. That's it, extremely limited. All right, so let me wrap this up quick. Now I did the Bluetooth range test. I walked all the way to 50 feet, no drop connection at all. For lag, I watched YouTube, Netflix, and Amazon. No lag when you're watching your videos. As far as call quality, pretty good. I called the Maya on the phone, no static, no issues. You can hear the person out of both ears, no problems. Ambient sound mode, not the best. I, the voice sounds a little bit computerized, a little bit too robotic for me. I like the Sennheisers, the Sonys, and the AirPod Pros ambient sound mode a little bit better. It does work, but it's not the best. Now, as far as active noise cancellation, these are top tier. These are right up there with the Sennheisers, right up there with the Techniques, right up there with the AirPod Pros, right up there with the Sonys. But if you want the best active noise cancellation, you still gotta go with the Bose, all right? The Bose is still a champ. The sound quality in these, amazing deep rich bass they get nice and loud clear highs and mids i love it and the eq actually works now here's the downside to these number one the reconnection uh, you've seen the test for yourself these take forever to reconnect if they even reconnect at all you're gonna have to manually reconnect them i don't like that you can't use either earbud at a time all right now maybe they'll fix that with an update but i don't like that either you got limited functionality with the touch controls you only got skip and reverse tracks play and pause. I don't like that either. But the biggest thing that I don't like about these is that initial setup process, all right, that, that upgrade that you have to do from the beginning, you're going to hate it. All right, that's going to make you want to rage quit. If you don't have patience, you're going to throw these in the trash before you even hit them. All right, so DVLA, y'all need to fix that upgrading software. Y'all need to fix this app software. It's just too buggy. It's just too, too wonky. All right, I'm not really feeling the software at all. Read the reviews for yourself. So, are these worth 300 bucks? I would say no. I'd be comfortable spending 200 to 250 at max. For 300, you're better off going with the Sennheisers, you're better off going with the AirPod Pros, or the Sonys, or the Bose, or the Techniques. Anyway, DVLA <laughs> Geminis, right, did I say that right? DVLA Geminis, on a scale of one to 10, these are major go, they just need a little bit of work. Hit me up in the comments, let me know what y'all think about these.